Hello, my name is Jimmy. This is Jimmy's World, and this is not what I do for my world, but it's mostly airplanes like this. <laughs> So here is the new plane, we're flying it. <laughs> I am on a quest to get a 200 knot airplane for under $200,000, and I'm a little spoiler alert, I did it for way less than 200,000, even less than 100,000, less than 60,000, and we're gonna try to get this thing going and fly it over 2,000 miles across the country back to Florida. That special is coming out December 26th. You're not gonna wanna miss it. So in celebration of the 200-200, I would like to go over the coolest experimental airplane on the planet, the Lance Air Series. So enjoy this rendition of these Lance Airs because they're gorgeous, they're wicked fast, and they got a little bit of crazy in them, as you'll see. Stay tuned. All right, so when I say experimental, it usually makes people take a step back and say, hang on a second. You're telling me you're gonna fly five miles high in the sky at half the speed of sound in something you you built in your garage? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm telling you. It's gonna be fantastic. If you were going to build a plane with these performance capabilities, you'd need special building skills, but that's not true. Like all our kit planes, the building process has been designed to be completed by people with average mechanical skills. And because it's experimental, that means you actually have options of things you can do to that airplane. And it's so much cheaper. It's usually a half to a third the price of a certified airplane. This thing is a Miss USA if there ever was one for an airplane. And I, I gotta admit, I have spent hours and hours lusting over this airplane. I've even negotiated on a couple of them. The reason I didn't buy it is because of this next category, the handling. The, the 421 Cessna was Jessica, the brown haired freckle faced girl. The Lancer 4 is Lindsay. She's a crazy redhead. And if you're not careful, she'll go into a flat spin and kill you and anyone around you without warning. You gotta be careful with this one, that's all I'm saying. It's got a Continental TSIO 550 putting out 350 horses, 253 miles an hour or 220 knots. Has a rate of climb of over 1500 feet a minute with a gross weight of 3,500 pounds and you can go all the way up to 24,000 feet. This is easily my favorite four seater of all time. To me, this is the perfect personal airplane. It's fast, it's a four seater so you can take more than just yourself. What if you love the looks of this Lance Air 4, but you don't need those back seats. You just want the sports car version of your hot rod sedan. Well, that's this next airplane. This is the Legacy RG550. It's a two person airplane, comes in at a 2,200 pound gross weight and it will cruise, now this is a cruise speed of 276 miles an hour or 240 knots. Yeah, gone that's hauling. The Legacy started out from Lance Air's original 235 and then they moved into the 320 series and the 360 series, which the 360 was so beautiful that it hung on display in New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art. And then when you you know, hot rod it out and you put on a, a 350 horse six cylinder, twin turbocharged, twin intercooled, you'll go way faster. This literally is the definition of an engine with wings. Don't let that small size fool you though, because where they took out the back seats, they still left room for a uh, golf bag and some fishing rods. They did have a fixed gear version of this, but it only cruises at 215 miles an hour or 187 knots. That little speck that just disappeared over our left, that, that was a Mooney that we passed like it was sitting still. Uh, bye bye
way. And if you really want to blow your mind, Patey built one of these and put a turbo prop in it. And he says from his very own mouth, I can always do 372, 373 knots, worst case scenario. Light fuel, nice cool air, smooth air, 382, 383 knots. I don't even want to call this experimental. This is where aviation should be. This is the fastest thing with a propeller. It is the Lance Air Evolution provided through Evolution Aircraft now. You can buy yourself the 850 kit, which is that uh, PT6 cranked up to 867 shaft horsepower. That is putting out all kinds of crazy BTUs. It'll get you a cruise, listen to this, 330 knot cruise. That's not a max speed, that's a cruise. That is blistering fast, just crazy. And it'll have a 900 nautical mile range. And in case things don't go as well as you'd hope, don't worry, this one has a similar parachute, just like all the Cirruses that everybody loves. They call it the Evolution Emergency Airframe Parachute System, or EAP. It provides peace of mind to pilots and their passengers. Even has a thermal wing de-icing system. Here is a stat everybody loves. You have a four-seater airplane, and the biggest complaint is you can't actually get four people in with fuel fuel. Well, guess what? With this one, you can. It's got a max useful load of 2,000 pounds, 168 gallon tank. That means you can put four full-size adults in there and fill up the tanks and still have some extra for some bags. That is perfect. I mean, it'll set you back about a million and a half bucks, but still love it. Want to get me one? This evolution truly is where we could be and in fact where we are in the aviation world i love it thank you lance air thank you for everything you've done over 300 of you have already given to save the 310 thank you so much that is fantastic and we've raised over nine thousand dollars <laughs> That blows my mind. So then you guys have stepped up. I love it. We've got a long way to go and I've got a really solid line on a set of propellers, but they're not cheap. Uh, instead of the $30,000, I found the propellers for about $18,000. You know, that's still crazy expensive, but they're gonna be bolt on. They're gonna be ready to go. So then we have some other, you know, somewhat expensive items on there, but we are getting there. So keep going. I love it. Let's get this thing back in the air. When we do, maybe we'll have to do a, you know, travel around the US to come meet some of you guys and show the plane off and take it on a, a big trip, a grand tour, if you will, of the US and some of the cool airports and some of the cool aviation folk. And even, there's a whole lot of you on here that are not aviation. How awesome is that? Spread the love, baby. My name is Jimmy. This is Jimmy's World. I will see you next time. Save the 310.